Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous world we live in. What makes the world so damn dangerous? It's dangerous because it's so easy to take the bait. It's so easy to say, I'm going to be like everyone else. I'm going to do what everyone else tells me to do. I'm going to agree with what everyone else tells me to agree with. And effectively, I'm going to become a robot for the zeitgeist, for the current standard, the current way of this society, the current way of this lifestyle we've created. We live in a world where homogeneity, likeness, sameness, equal parts, has become not only commonplace, but absolutely required in order for you to be a stand-up citizen, in order for you to be someone who's on the right path. This is why it's such a dangerous world. From the looks of it, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the people have taken the bait. They've relinquished their power to do the single mission they're required to do here in this experience. Now, I don't know what that is. Perhaps you don't even know what it is right now. But deep down inside, you do know what it is. Deep in your heart, you know what you're here to be doing. But how few people actually stand up to the occasion and say, Okay, this is my mission. And I'm going to push forward. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to, even if I fail, or even if the world's against me, I'm going to persevere. Even if that means I don't make a million. Even if that means I don't have uh, high esteem, popularity. Even if that means that I am not going to rise the corporate ladder and, you know, climb up to the status of high class. Most of us have taken the bait. There's a world, an army, a huge, massive amount of people out there who have not only taken the bait, but have devoted their lives to, to preserving this static, linear, structured, sterile, dead way of life. These people are the most dangerous people in the world. They may even be your parents. These people will do anything to protect the status quo, to protect this structure that has been built, this social construction. So when they see the artist painting, the musician composing, the skateboarder, skateboarding, what have you, they see a threat to everything that they've come to know as a child, now an adult, now they must protect the system. And of course we don't want to go against our friends, of course we don't want to go against our family members parents, of course we don't want to go against our professors, politicians, and preachers, so we're stuck in a terrible situation then. Here we have a group of people who are deemed the authority. They have the degrees, they have the feats of scholasticism, they've gone to college, they're in government, and they're rich. And they're telling us to live a certain way, 
And then we say, hmm, if we don't listen to them, then of course they're going to be against me. Then of course I'm not going to be able to get rich. I'm not going to be able to have friends. I'm not going to be able to be popular. I'm not going to be able to get the Mercedes. I'm not going to be able to get into my doctorate program. I'm not going to be able to travel. So of course I have to buckle. Of course I have to give in. Do you see how dangerous the situation is? It's as if they've given us the only key to get into the door. And that key is obedience. That key is becoming the same. That key is you better fucking listen to us. And if you don't, you're banished. If you don't, we're going to do everything in our power to work against you. So of course, we have 99.9% .9 of the people adhering to this system that was created. We live in a dangerous world. Who has the courage to push forward and to carry out your mission no matter what, no matter if your parents don't agree, no matter if your so-called friends don't agree, no matter if your professors don't agree, doesn't matter. Who has the courage? So few. Salud.